Hello my fellow YouTubers, this is Custom Comments here with another review of another NECA trick or treat Sam figure and I just did a review on the little 4 inch this is the cloth version with the you no know, real soft goods and he's a little he's in a bigger scale I think he's made for the seven or eight the eight inch scale figures which I think this one's gonna stand almost five the other one stood about four inches a little four inches this one might stand you know, he's look pretty big we're gonna have to find out five or six inches but yeah we most definitely will find out that but let's look at the box trick or treat a clear face packaging you got the uh, his bag of goodies this one don't come with as much accessories as the uh, the other one but he has his lollipop a bag and I think the mask his mask is a soft good mask and it comes off with the pumpkin head sc scope which is here so yeah oh, let's tip this up where you guys can see oh, I'll go back a little bit yeah so as you can see that head scope very nice got a lot of glare cause a lot of sunlight but yeah um he looks good he looks real good that's uh can't stand with packaging up but oh uh, yes this is he looks good and we're gonna get him out to see how he is okay be right back and little sam is all out of package and like i said this is the bigger version with the soft good clothes on it and he looks amazing it's just something about this one although i know the other one with the sculpted clothes are he's most definitely the, the best one to me this is just my opinion but something about this one just still looks awesome with the soft good clothes so NECA did an okay job only complaint I have they just didn't give him ankle pivot but still he's still cool as hell so we're gonna take a look at him um I got his accessories on which he only comes with his sucker and his bag and of course the uh his mask comes off to reveal the jack-o-lantern face so and we're gonna all get to that one I'm just gonna let you guys just check him out he's just awesome and yes he is very awesome we will have our house decorated real nice with the Halloween characters on putting all her Halloween characters on our mantle but yes, I just had to get the lazy Susan out and just spin them around because you guys can look at them from all angles. So yeah, he is pretty cool, man. So, that's just how he looks. And now, and now we're going to look at his accessories which is the bag as you see very nice bag it's weathered got a patch torn you know and it's bendy wire it is bendy wire and what we did we put a piece of cotton in it and make it look like he has some goodies in it and you can untie this right here so I think that's pretty cool and he comes with his famous lollipop <laughs> where he takes a bite out of and then he stabs you and this right here let's go back a little bit right here you can take this off and you know what NECA did they uh, they padded this inside where it'll sort of keep a shape, but the more you take it off and on, 
it sort of loses its roundness so you just it's just the way you try to put it back on but yeah let's uh try to get this off and reveal the real Sam I am and as you can see here's Sam looking awesome I'm gonna move my way for now and this is the try to show you the padding on this you can see sort of they pad it with some like foam like a cushion foam to sort of keep that shape but yeah so he has three accessories the bag mask and the lollipop okay and let's take a look at uh Sam I am with this head scope Let's come down. So he is looking pretty cool, man. As you can see, Sam I am. It's pretty cool. That head scope is so. Oh God, look at it. It's so gross. They put a nice sheen, shine to his eyes. Yeah, so that's the accessories. Okay, and now we're going to go over the articulation, which ain't bad. The only thing I have a gripe with, they didn't give him no angle pivot, but the head is on a ball peg and it goes all kind of ways. No neck movement, so I guess it's just on a ball peg. You can do lots of expression. He looks up that much, down that much. Um, he has mouth articulation on this, as you can see. So that's cool. Very nice. And his shoulders go really high up really high that's very nice and he has a bicep swivel you can feel that under the soft goods he has a double jointed elbow very cool okay he has a hinge hand he has waist swivel no crunch or nothing like that, but just waist swivel. Both both hands hinge with a hinge. Uh, he can do the splits that much. Um, he can kick up that much. Yeah, Sam I am got real nice articulation. He can even go back a little bit. He has a single knee bend, but that's okay. Single knee bend, that's good for Sam. And let's raise his soft goods up, and you can see the hinge on his foot. Look at that, go way up, way back, and no ankle pivot. But yeah, so decent articulation, but shoot everybody mostly gonna be looking how good this dude looks and like I said he he's he's nice he's a bigger you can see the stitching like he's been going through some battles man as you can see let's focus on that a little bit closer so yeah that is so good Look at that face, man. I love it. You know, you know, it's a little different color from. That's okay. That don't bother me. He has his uh butt flap, uh Velcro here, but I will not dare take try to take this off. Why? That is so good, man. 
I do like one thing that this one is bigger so you can put them with different scale figures and I do still like the other one but boy they did so good on that face man gosh so very nice articulation Cause Halloween is my favorite season well not season but you know favorite seasonal Halloween I like to be scared that is so good very nice detail neck of it very good okay and now <clears throat> and now we will do a height measurement on this one he stands about five and a half inches tall where the other one he's about an inch taller than the the other one so he's a little bit bigger so I do like this one too but on this one his hands let me make a note of this his hands does not grab this lollipop he has a uh, a hole where you slide it through the hole to make it look like he's holding the see you can sort of see it right there so you just slide that lollipop in there let's see can we do that and there it go right there so he has his lollipop and I guess I let him keep his lollipop wow we are getting ready to do height comparisons let's do some comparisons and now we're going to take this version the smaller version you can most definitely see he is taller so that looks good okay let's get a a Mezco Freddy Cougar Get a mask off Freddy Cougar. And as you can see, Freddy is taller. He's a six inch figure. So we'll move little Sam out of the way. Okay. Let's do a NECA. Um, Let's see. And now we're going to do a fallen Batman who laughs. This will be a whole lot bigger. Yeah, we'll have to go back with this one. As you can see. So, yeah. Let me make sure that's clear. Batman who laughs which he's a true seven inch figure scale let's do a Mezco Jason which Jason is bigger too So, yeah. Okay, we're going to do a a Mafex Amazing Spider-Man. As you can see, Spider-Man is a little taller. True 6-inch figure. We're going to do a Mezco Michael Myers. Plus, might you see Michael Myers is taller. Let's do a NECA Michael Myers. Whole lot bigger. 
<laughs> Let's do a neck of it Pennywise. Put the balloon behind his head. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay. Let's do a one more. One of my favorite Batman figures now. The new Hush Batman. I'm trying to get by without anything falling. And as you can see, Batman's a little taller. So yeah. What did I say? He stands about five and a half inches tall. So yeah. Very nice figure, guys. And he's been out a minute, but I love horror. I love horror figures, man. Very nice. So yeah, that will be the conclusion of Trick or Treat Sam. The five and a half inch version. And here's the little other one. The four and a half inch version. Sam, don't you do that to me. Okay. Don't you do that. Yeah, so very cute figures, man. Very awesome figures. Very ugly figures, but they so damn cute. They still cute. I like them both. So, yeah. If you got any questions or requests, make sure you hit me up in the comments, and I'll be sure to get back with you. If I do not, I'm not doing it on purpose. That's not getting back with you. So I, my notifications still be tripping sometimes. I know I've replied to people who had sent me some eight, six, five months ago, and I do not understand it. But as soon as I recognize it, I do reply back because I do like hearing from all of you what you think about figures or what you, something you might want to see or something that you did see and you just want to talk about it. I'm all open. Uh, for suggestions, how to make my channel better. Uh, so I guess you can call it a little criticism. It, it's all to make my channel better, me to get better, giving you reviews. Okay. All right, everyone. This is Custom Comments signing out. Peace.